What is going on guys, The Muck Designs here. I'm coming to you guys with a tutorial on how to make a team 3D logo or player PSD, whatever you guys choose to call it, in Photoshop. And before we get into this, I want to let you guys know that I've previously made synergies, as you guys can see right now. Uh, Horizons, Team Psychos, and Team Envious currently. All of them are currently using the PSDs I've made them. And I'm going to give you guys an in-depth tutorial on how exactly to make these and I hope you guys learn a lot from me, uh, from me doing these and I'm going to show you guys step by step and yeah I'm just going to go ahead and get into it so I'm just going to go ahead and file new make the width 800 the height 800 and go ahead and click OK and it's going to make this blank page what you guys firstly want to do is make a group just make that group and you guys are going to want to make sure the rulers are centered just like that make sure they're in the center they should snap to the center if they don't then your Photoshop has a problem or something but anyways uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the SOAR logo since uh, most of you should be familiar with this logo design um, go ahead and just I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here edit free transform make sure it's exactly in the center I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. That uh, looks about right. And I want to go ahead and put it in the group. I'm going to name this main. And I'm just going to go ahead, right click, duplicate, and duplicate the SOAR logo. And I'm going to go to the second one, right click it, I mean double click it, color overlay, just make it red, doesn't really matter. The top logo, I'm going to lower the opacity on. And I'm just going to move, edit, free transform, and free transform the lower one. And hold shift while you, hold shift while you make it smaller. And let's see. That looks good. And make try to make sure it's in the center. It's exactly in the center. If I go to edit, free transform, it's in the center of the page, just like the other one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pen tool just make sure make the color just red doesn't really matter guys I'm gonna hold alt and zoom in and just connect all of these just like that connect all the points to one another what this is doing guys is making it a 3d look without actually having to put this into Adobe not Adobe um, cinema 40 sorry and it just makes it a lot easier to do um, and makes it look a lot cleaner without having to shade and all that fancy stuff and yeah it just looks a lot more professional if you do it this way and that should be done real soon and I'm not taking my time guys just for educational purposes I'm doing this tutorial for you guys um, you guys can obviously zoom in, make sure the pixels, they're on the right pixels and everything. Alright, and that looks like they're all covered. Actually, yeah, yeah, alright, they're all covered. So you want to click, oops, you just want to click a new layer, right click in one of these boxes, fill path, and it should come up with this, just choose... 50% gray doesn't really matter. Click delete and uh, right click, merge down. Should merge it down into this one below it. And you can go ahead and make the sore top copy full 100% again. Nope, this is spot real quick. I'm going to lower this real quick. And oh, whoops. Go ahead and fix this really quickly. Fill the path. All right, there we go. 
make this 100. All right, as you guys can tell, it has a 3D effect already, and it's perfectly aligned to the center. It's not slightly off to one side rather than the other. And after you guys have done this, you're going to want to duplicate the main layer, the top one. You're going to want to double click it, color overlay, make sure it's just uh, white. Click OK and hold control while clicking it go to select modify contract and I'd say around 8 if not if not um, I'd say 6 6 is about 6 is pretty good actually and I'm just gonna go ahead and just delete click delete and what this does guys it makes a stroke an inner stroke that is you can take off or put on depending on what you guys want you can take it off and put it on and I'm gonna click in the store copy I'm gonna change the color of this make it a make it a sort of gray or white I'm gonna change the second one change the color of this to a darker color darker gray almost black click OK and I'm going to duplicate the store copy the the main one push it down hold shift and duplicate these both I mean uh, merge merge layers like that after you've done that double click them drop shadow you want a distance to zero size to around 13 and just opacity around 54 and you want to go to the sore copy the stroke actually up here right click rasterize layer make sure it's rasterize and drop shadow and with this drop shadow you want to go to distance to zero and size to five and opacity down just a little bit like 47 47 is pretty good alright so as you guys can tell you have the 3d logo right now it looks pretty good it looks pretty clean and as you guys can tell these little stroke parts right here are easily fixable with the rectangle tool you just take it and just square it off a little bit and make it look a bit a little cleaner and now we're gonna work on the background and see it's all white usually usually people do like white but I'm gonna make it a little bit of a gradient uh, just new layer make this pitch black take the erase tool I'm gonna actually make the size a little bit bigger to around 600 should be good make sure it's a blurred erase tool Oops. and just go from the center double click click three times then just take the opacity down a little bit to around 23 all right. So after you do this, we're gonna work on the text. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and put a luminance, which is a basically a glow on the top to make sure it looks a little bit better than it does right now. So just make a new layer. Put this new layer on the far top. We're gonna to take this shape tool, make a lips tool, change the color to white. There you go. We're going to go ahead and put that in the center. Just drop it down a bit. And with this, we're just going to rasterize the, just rasterize the main colored layer right here. And we're going to put the ellipse on it. And just hold Alt and make sure it goes down. And it goes down like this, guys. Make sure this is in the center. There we go and just lower the opacity so as you guys can tell there's a glow there's a little bit of a glow and it makes sure it looks kind of 3D-ish and now we're gonna work on the text and the text is quite simple guys uh, you're just going to click the text tool Tapograph Pro uh, looks like a good size I'm gonna make it sore Oops and I'm just going to scale this up quite a bit like 
72, like maybe 80 actually. Let's go to 80. 80 is pretty good. What you want to do with this is you want to make the main color the same as this if you want. You guys don't have to do that. You can make it match. Double click the sore. Make a stroke. Make it white. Make the size of the stroke 3. Make there a drop shadow. Distance to 0. Size to 9. Opacity down a little bit. Make a bevel and emboss. Size down to around 3. Depth, make it around 21. And opacity, just turn that down to 18. And the opacity for the shadow mode, turn that down to around 38. That looks pretty good. I'm actually going to make this text a little bit bigger, guys. I'm just going to edit, free transform. Just make that a little bit bigger. I'm just going to go ahead and actually change the color of this text. Just color overlay. There we go. That looks pretty good. And all right, so I'm going to take the luminance that we had on the first one, the ellipse tool. I'll click Alt, duplicate it to the top. Just drag that down and put it over like that, like so. So as you guys can tell, this looks slightly similar to the actual one they have now. It is not the one they have now, so please don't um, actually use this if you guys actually end up making... Um, AVI's for sort members. Um, this is not the official PSD, and I'm just going to put that out there before I actually put this in the description for you guys to download. Um, and of course, you can do anything with this now. The stroke can be adjusted, easily managed. Um, you can you can um, add images, and make it all fancy if you guys want. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this. The download link for this PSD will be in the description below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, check out my Twitter. And thank you guys very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial.